Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Tucker Carlson just revealed outrageous thing Huma hid on Weiner's laptop Hillary does not want getting out. Now convict Anthony Weiner had lots of secrets in his laptop. He was recently convicted of sexting an underage girl and he'll be spending lots of time in prison for that. But there was a lot more on his laptop. 2,800 emails, in fact, belonging to his estranged wife, Huma Abadine, who was Hillary Clinton's top aide. Judicial Watch President Tom Fidden is not letting go of this story, either. He just released that number, 2,800, and is suing to get those emails released to the public. Fidden said the sheer number of emails is a disturbing development. Our experience with Abadine's emails suggests these Weiner laptop documents will include classified and other sensitive materials. Fidden wants to know this. When will the Justice Department do a serious investigation of Hillary Clinton's and Huma Abedin's obvious violations of law? Wouldn't you like to know, too? We should never give up on finding out what, exactly, Hillary was hiding in these emails. The media, and Hillary, of course, would like this story to die down, and go away. But we can never let that happen. Not until we know what's there. If you're happy that someone is keeping this story alive in the courts, please get this shared everywhere with the comment thanks Judicial Watch. Courtesy of the Daily Mail It's happening. Hillary Clinton's latest announcement will make you cry tears of joy. For the first time ever, Hillary Clinton just made conservatives across the country incredibly happy. Hillary Clinton has been seeking the presidency ever since she left the White House in 2001. After a two brief hiatus from public life, Clinton became a senator from the state of New York. Then, she used her platform to seek the Democratic nomination for President of the United States. She failed, badly, losing to an unknown senator named Barack Obama. Eight years later, after barely beating a geriatric socialist in the primary, she got her chance in the general election. She lost, again, this time to a man who had never run for office in his life. Hillary Clinton is bad at this. And now, mercifully, she's finally done. Hillary Clinton has promised to never again run for president. No, I'm not going to run again, she told the BBC in an interview transcribed by the Daily Caller. Hallelujah. But don't celebrate too much. If the last few months are any indication, Clinton has no plans to go away. She'll still peddle books and her unsolicited opinion, but she won't be doing it from the White House. Cheer in the comments and share if you love this news. Hillary Clinton will never be president. It's official. Jeff Sessions just admitted evil thing on Senate floor that he's doing to screw Trump. Attorney General Jeff Sessions is compromised. How do you explain the fact that he is acting so irrational? On Tuesday, The Hill reported that the FBI uncovered Russian bribery in 2009 and the FBI sat on it for four more years. It gets worse. On Wednesday, Senator Charles Grassley, Aria, recently asked if Rod Rosenstein would be allowed to investigate himself on the Hillary Clinton Uranium One scandal. Attorney General Sessions said it was up to him. Attorney General Sessions, it would be his decision. Rosenstein and Mueller oversaw the sale of 20 percent of U.S. uranium reserves to Russia despite knowing that Russia bribed Hillary Clinton for the sale. The FBI has become a joke and it seems that Jeff Sessions is on it. Share this everywhere to warn every Trump supporter about Jeff Sessions. Do it ASAP. Dolly Parton just surprised everyone with what she said about supporting Trump this morning. 
Dolly Parton, Jane Fonda, and Lily Tomlin made headlines this year during the Emmys when Fonda and Tomlin made an unsavory joke about President Trump before they presented an award. Parton stayed silent and looked visibly uncomfortable when Fonda and Tomlin compared President Trump to their sexist fictional boss from 9 to 5, Franklin Hart Jr., played by Dabney Coleman, saying. In, 9 to 5, we refuse to be controlled by a sexist, egotistical, lying, hypocritical bigot. And in 2017, we still refuse to be controlled by a sexist, egotistical, lying, hypocritical bigot. I wonder if leftists ever get tired of talking to their echo chamber. Pardon caught a lot of flack from leftists for not jumping on the anti-Trump bandwagon, but she explained why she stayed silent in a recent interview on Fox and Friends. Lily and Jane are Lily and Jane and I'm Dolly. I can't tell everyone what to do. Everybody knows I don't do politics. She quipped. My mother was a Democrat and my daddy was a Republican, so I'm a hypocrite. And I've got as many Republican fans as Democrats and I don't want to make any of them mad at me, so I don't play politics. Plus I'm an entertainer, and I don't usually voice my opinion in a situation like that. I was just happy to be back with them to get that standing ovation about the movie. I was there about the movie. Yes. This is why Dolly Parton is awesome. So few entertainers are left that are just happy to stay off their soapbox and let their audience enjoy their work. She said of her critics on the left. A lot of people got mad at me because I didn't say something, and I thought what if I had said something? I didn't know what to say. But I just always go to a boob joke if all else fails. Do you think more entertainers should be like Dolly Parton? Share it out. H.T. Washington Times Trey Gowdy just went on Fox and brought down Obama's House of Cards with one sentence. In a stunning admission, Rep. Trey Gowdy, RSC, told Fox News Brett Baer said on Tuesday that Obama's Samantha Powers testified to the House that she didn't make all the unmasking requests. This means that someone made unmasking requests in her name. Former UN Ambassador Samantha Power met with House officials to last Friday to talk about unmaskings of Trump officials. Samantha Power is in the final months of the Obama administration and unmasked more than one person for every working day in 2016. Power used her position to spy on political opponents. The worst part is that the media isn't even talking about this. Thank God for Trey Gowdy for going after these criminals. Share this if you think it's time for the Obama administration to start going to jail. This is just not right at this point. Oh my God! Chuck Grassley just opened an investigation that'll put Hillary in prison. Senator Chuck Grassley, Aria is chairman of the Judiciary Committee and has been investigating the Uranium One scandal for months. Grassley is expected to ask Attorney General Jeff Sessions about the Russian Uranium One scandal in Wednesday's hearing. This is huge news. It was reported earlier that the FBI uncovered Russian bribery of the Clintons in 2009 by the Department of Justice. Watch the groundbreaking video below via Hannity. From Circa News Senator Grassley will question the Attorney General about the Uranium One scandal. John Solomon, I can confirm tonight. I am reporting this out tonight. Senator Grassley, Chairman of the Judiciary Committee, began an investigation last week specifically asking all the CFI U.S. members did you know there was a criminal investigation? This is going to become one of the most important investigations that is going to evolve this fall. Share this everywhere because the media seems to be in on it and is covering it up. Busted Maxine Waters spent thousands of donations on something sick and no one is talking about it. Rep. Maxine Waters is one of the most outspoken critics of President Trump, demanding that he be impeached with exhausting regularity. A darling on the left, 
Waters rarely comes under fire from her own party, but a recent Federal Election Commission report might just change that. Waters' campaign committee was found to have spent a whopping $10,000 to get tickets to the Broadway hit Hamilton. Those $10,000 were then written off as a campaign expense. Must be nice to work on Waters' campaign. I guess when you're in a safely blue district of California you don't have to spend your campaign funds too strategically. That being said, I would hate to be the sucker that donated to her just for her and her team to see a play. Citizens for Waters spent more than they raised to re-elect the congresswoman in 2016, raising $954.948 and spending $1.05 million. Perhaps they should be a little bit more careful with their money. But that's Democrats for you. A representative of Waters defended the spending to the Washington Examiner, saying that it was not unusual for congressmen to purchase tickets to such events to generate excitement. Right. I'm sure. Waters is running again in 2018. Let's make sure her constituents see what she's spending their money on by sharing this thousands of times. H.T. Washington Examiner. Image Source, YouTube, MSNBC. Trump just unleashed all hell when he found out what Comey did for Clinton. Hell hath no fury like President Trump scorned. Earlier this week it was revealed that James Comey had drafted a statement on Hillary Clinton's private email server use months before his official announcement exonerating her in July 2016. An unclassified email document from FBI official James Rubitsky was released in mid-May asking for officials to send any comments on this statement so we may roll it into a master doc for discussion with the director at a future date. Rapidsky's email was forwarding an email from Comey with the subject line Madeira exam dated May 2. This new evidence follows up on similar claims made by Senate Judiciary Chairman Chuck Grassley Aria, and Lindsey Graham RSC, in August accusing Comey of writing a draft months before the FBI had interviewed key witnesses. Comey was clearly up to something shady during his investigation into Hillary Clinton. How could he have started drafting a statement before even interviewing Clinton, unless he knew the whole time that he wouldn't prosecute her? President Trump called on the Justice Department and Jeff Sessions to look into this. This rabbit hole looks like it goes deep. Share this out to let Sessions know we the people demand an investigation into Comey's actions during the 2016 election. H.T. The Hill